Hello, I'm on my solo wilderness trip and it's quite late today. I've arrived at the parking lot where I'm going to be leaving my vehicle and now I'm going to go explore a little bit. I have my, my bear spray ready. Packed up with our little John boat. And I'm going to go look and see if I can see how the trail is down to the creek. The weather is yeah, not bad. No rain right now. There was some earlier. So I'm going to walk over to the creek, which is a little ways away. Right now the road I'm walking on is still pretty solid. Not muddy at all. Not extra sandy. I could easily get to here, drag the boat off, put it in the water. This is Otter Creek. This is where I want to go and check it out. Huh. It's too late in the day today. And I can't camp down here or anything. I guess I could, but I don't want to. I'm sure the mosquitoes will be really bad down here in a couple of hours. And a spot like that is just like mud. If I end up touching that with my tire, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna pass the night and then come wake up in the morning and and back up down here, unload. I betcha. I could put that truck in here and still leave room for people to get by me to look at that tomorrow. Otherwise I'll just park it back in the parking lot. Pretty nervy. Kind of cute though. <laughs> it's the first animal I've seen on this trip. So, decided to stay in this little moose camp tonight. Just going to sleep in the cab of the truck. I'm too lazy to set up a camp and everything. Hopefully I managed to get some sleep. Could have easily put up the tent here. Yeah. Tomorrow I gotta unpack everything, pack it all into the boat, and start down the little creek. So, I'll see you in the morning, or unless during the night there's some sort of thunderstorm or other action. Because there was some thunder a few minutes ago. So I'll see you soon. Just a little rainstorm. It is not supposed to rain tomorrow. Sure hope not. But anyway, I'm prepared for it.
Good morning. The rain seems to have eased up a little bit. Well, I've brought the boat down. I've loaded the bare necessities on it. I've uh, got one battery, fishing net, fishing rod, motor, seat, oars. I'm going to put it in the water. And I'm going to go and fish and look and see if I can find a good campsite. Oh, we're off. Ah, I want to get my line out. I didn't bring enough stuff with me. I didn't bring my rod holder, but that's okay. I can hold it with my arms, my hands. Didn't bring my wind stopper for the microphone, but that's okay. <laughs> I want to get set up now and go fishing as I go. I don't even have my clip-on arm for my for my camera. <laughs> Yeah, well, I have it, just it's back of the truck. If I find a good campsite, if I find some fish, I will uh, somehow or another get a picture of the fish. Turned out to be a gorgeous day. Might even be a bit too warm, but eh. This is not pouring rain. See some rocks ahead there. Not sure if that's gonna have a campsite, but we'll find it. Follow a closer truck. Had to be a little bit further away. But we'll see. Well, it's sort of flat, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> I'd have to do a lot of clearing. I think just keep looking. Brought the boat in really close. I think I'm gonna get snags and I'm gonna have to wind it out. And I don't have a clamp for this camera, so it makes it hard. Maybe I'm just too picky since I'm solo. I don't have time to 
clean out lower down sections of rock like that. Probably could be done easy, you know, but I don't feel like it. And for the high, anything higher up, which we haven't seen yet, but if I have to pass big coolers out of this boat, it's pretty rocky when you try and do that by yourself. So I want a nice landing, since it is a boat. I'm still looking. You can see that, like, within the last 20 years, I'd say, that all burned down. You can see those dead standing ones are burned. So it all burned right up to the water along the shore. Could you imagine being out here in a boat, fishing away and out on the shore burning? Like, wow, that's terrible. Hope it never happens again up this area. There's a marsh here. Oh, I see beads. I don't want to get stuck on them. Anyway, there's a marsh here. And it probably would be a good spot for moose. And I know there's a little creek in the backside of the marsh that runs over past the road. And we've seen moose activity on the road at that area. But I better be careful what I'm doing because I'm in the water and there's lots and lots of weeds. So, and I don't have a holder for my camera with me in the boat. I had to stop fishing at this point because the hook got caught on the uh, rope and I didn't feel like playing with it right now. It's really, well I went over there and I looked and I tried to disconnect it but it's really in there. So I wanted to wait till I have a better stopping place. I wouldn't want to tip over this time of day in this water. <laughs> so I don't want to horse around too much. I'll get it. I'll, I'll get it taken off. That spot right there probably is an okay place. I still have a lot of work to get the cooler and everything out of the boat, but that's, that's a possible. Somehow, I have to get through this mess. You gotta be careful, don't break the motor. The water's on the other side, that's where I wanna go. So I have to be very careful. my bear spray. Decided to spend the night in the truck. It was going to be the simplest. That way I can go out early in the morning. I can make myself a coffee on the tailgate. Still, I'd love to try. I'm going to try with yours to get past the spot that we couldn't go any further where it narrowed down. Lift the motor right up. And just or my way through. That's the plan anyway. Hello. I'm not really starving. Not enough to pull out the propane stove and start cooking. I'll cook breakfast. But for tonight I've got my trail mix. And see how I feel after that. I'll read a little bit. I have my book. But I might just fall asleep and not see it until morning. So we'll see what happens. Good morning. Beautiful out today. Cool, but no rain.
Well, that worked nice. <laughs> the foam was really warm in the butt. Somebody built this there, I guess, from, during moose hunting. I just had to check it out. It's very shallow in here. So I'm wearing a prop. Just touching the top of the line. Just so I get out. I skipped breakfast. I want to see if I can catch a fish. To me, when there's water like this, there's got to be fish. I find sitting in this boat on this tall seat rocky. Because my weight's above the center of the boat there. So I gotta be really careful. Time to drop the motor down again. I left my my camera tripod thing over at the boat. I'm in the truck. <laughs> I, I'm going to leave the truck right there. I know I'm blocking a launch, actually. But I don't see anybody out here. If, if I'm just going to play around this area here. If there's a fish, there's got to be one around here. And so I'll be able to see if somebody comes and wants in. It's always more fun to catch a fish, but just being out in nature and listening to the birds and relaxing, it's nice.
there's still beavers living there. You can see fresh wood in the, in the front side of it there. Pretty big beaver house. It's good grass and stuff growing on it also, so it's been there a while. I have a fish, I'm pretty sure. Really hard to show it on the camera. So a little one, whatever it is. A little pike. Well, at least we know there's something in there. <laughs> I gotta shut the camera off while I take him off. Not very big. Bye. But it's the first fish. Whew. Not that fish on. Sorry for the rocky video. It's probably a pike. You never know. <laughs> thanks Pike thanks for biting thanks for getting off on your own <laughs> just a few pike caught that's it not one walleye I think we're going to move on. Well, the boat's all strapped down on the truck. I don't see anything left behind. All the garbage is picked up. Wish it was a better, longer trip. But... A lobster mushroom! Feels dry, dry. 
doesn't feel right. That feels good. There's no bugs. Beautiful. I'll just leave one and I'll take two. Oh, there's another third one. I'll take three. In case I like them. They're beautiful. No bugs. Very fresh. This one, the bugs are too much. I think it's a bleat, but I don't know, it feels yuck. So I'm gonna leave it right there. Hello, my friends. I'm glad you could join me on my adventure. I hope you subscribe and click like in order to help me grow my channel. See you next time.